When you get to a spot and you can't go further, look at using more than one technique. This puzzle has a couple of tricky spots, especially when we're quite far along. There's one spot where all of a sudden we come to a screeching halt. But with the aid of three techniques used simultaneously, we get through the rough spot and continue on. If you like these videos, please click like and click the red subscribe button below. After you subscribe, you can click on the bell icon if you'd like to, to be notified every time a video is published. And of course, I always like getting comments. If you have any questions or just want to leave a comment, please leave a comment. This is Puzzle 87 from Sudoku to Go, Volume 135. And the techniques that we use in this puzzle um, can all be found on sudokuprimer.com under the Techniques and Patterns sections. And uh, there's a lot of other Sudoku information out there too, so go check out sudokuprimer.com. Alright, well... As always, the first few numbers are pretty easy. That one's real easy to see. We got an 8 here and an 8 here, so that's an 8 right there. Now we've got a T pattern in box 3 right here. And with that T pattern, if we can find two numbers that aren't in this box already, um, like the 4 and the 6, we know we have 4 6 twins right here. And that leaves 2 five, seven, two, five, and seven here in, in the, uh, row two. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, with these two, five, and seven, what do we have here? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, and three, and nine. And there's a nine there, so we can solve the three and the nine. All right, and... Uh, now let's see, we know these are 4 and 6 right here, 4, 6 twins. And we've got 1 and 3 in, in both of these boxes already, so we know these are 1, 3 twins right here. And so we got 1, 3, and 4, and 6, so there are only three numbers we don't know here. Let's look and see what those are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5, 7, and 9. There's a 9 there, so that's a 5 or a 7. <clears throat> There's a 9 there, so that's a 5 or a 7, so we know that's a 9. All right. <clears throat> and then down here in box 9, we got a 5 here and a 5 here, so one of these is a 5. But we know these are 5, 7 twins. We also know these are 1, 3 twins, so that's got to be the 5 right there. And now, um, this is one thing that you can kind of look for. We've got an 8 and a 9 here and an 8 and a 9 here, just like the 1, 3 and 1, 3, which made these 1, 3 twins. We've got an 8, 9 here, 8, 9 here, so these are 8 and 9. There's a 9 there, so we can put those in. Now we're only missing two numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. 4 and 7, which we can solve. All right, let's see what we're um, missing here. Well, we got a 3 and a 3 here, so that's a 3 right there. Let's see what we're missing in row 8 here. 1, 4, 1, 4, and 6. A 4 there, so that's a 1 or a 6. 1 there, so that's a 4 or a 6. And a 4 there, so that's a 1 or a 6. So 1, 6 twins, that's a 4. All right, now we've got a 9 here, 9 here, 9 here, 9 here, so that's a 9. And we also got a 9 here, 9 here, 9, 9, so that's a 9 right there. Let's see what we're missing here. 5, 6, 8. 5, 6, and 8. So 5, 6, 8, 5, 6. There's a 5 and a 6, so that's an 8 right there. So, we can't solve the five sixes yet. 
All right. Let's look at this row right here. Let's see what we're missing. Well, there's a lot, there's only three numbers in this row so far. Let's look at this column right here. We know these are one and six because they're the only two numbers left in this box. So let's see what we're missing here. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Two, five, seven, eight. Let's see. There's a two and an eight. So that's a, oh, let's see. Five, seven, and eight there. There's a two and an eight. So that's a five or a seven. That's a two, five, seven, or eight. It doesn't help us much. And that's a two, five, or seven because there's an eight there. But wait a minute. We've got one three twins here, four six twins here, and five seven twins here. And with this two and eight here, we know that's a five or a seven. So we have five seven twins right there. Now let's look at this row and see what we're missing. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, and six. So we've got a one, four, or six there. One, two there with a four and six. One, two, six with a four. And two, four, six. So we can't do anything with that yet. <coughs> Let's look at this. Well, we do have one three twins here and one six twins right here. We got one six twins here and one six twins here. So using unique rectangles, we know that this can't be a one or a six right here. Let's see what else we know here. So we got one six, one six, one six. Um, Oh, okay. We got four sevens here and four sevens here. So we know these are four seven twins right there. So we have one three twins there, four seven twins there. Okay, and so we one six is here, one six is here. We know that can't be a one or a six. So let's see what it, what's left over. We got one, it can't be a one, two, three, Four, five, can't be a six, seven, eight, and there's an eight there, nine. So what is that? <clears throat> well, let's see. Let's look at this here real quick. We can put an eight in right there. Okay, so we've got an eight there, eight there, eight there, eight there. So now with these four sevens, we're missing one two, three, and six. So that's going to be a little bit easier to look at this number here. So we've got one, six, one, six, one, six. This can't be a one or a six, so it's got to be a two or a three. Okay, and we've got one threes here and one threes here. Oh, so that can't be a one or a three either because that's this same situation. We've got one, six here, one, six here, one, six here. So that can't be a one or a six. We got one three, one three, one three, one three. So that can't be a one or a three. That's got to be a two. So we took, we used two sets of unique rectangles to determine that can't be a one, three, or a six. And so two is the only number left because of these four, seven twins right there. So, okay. So we had to use three different techniques here. We had to use two different unique rectangles, the one six here and the one threes here. And we had to use a set of twins to narrow that number down to a two. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay. Now we've got a two here and two here. So one of these is a two. <clears throat> oh, and look here. We've got a one here. These are four seven twins, so that can't be a one. So we've got ghost ones here, one there. So one of these is a one, and one and two. So these are one, two twins right there. What are we missing? Uh, three, five, and six. Three, so that's a three or a six. That's a five or a six. That's a three or five. So we can't do anything with those. Okay. Let's look at this column right here. We're missing one, 
1356. 1356. We know that's a 1, 3. We know that's a 1, 6. So that's a 1, 5, or 6 there. And a 3 or a 5. There's 1, 6 there. So that's a 3 or a 5. That's a 1, 5, or a 6 right there. But it can't be a 1 because these are 1, 2 twins. So it's a 5 or a 6. Oh, and look. Remember our 5, 7 twins here that we found? So that's a 6 right there. Had to be a 1, 5, or a 6. And one of these has to be a 1, and one of these has to be a 5. So, therefore, that's a 6. So now, with that, we can put a 1 there, and a 6, and a 1 there. And with that 1 there, we know that's a 3. Because these were 1, 3 twins right there, with the 4, 7 twins we knew about. So we can solve the 1 and 3 now. Now we just have a 6 left right there. All right. So using three different techniques all at once, we were able to pretty much finish this entire section here after we found that 2 there. Now we're missing a 5 in this column. We can put that one in right there. Oh, and look at this. We got a 5 there, a 5 there, so that's a 5 right there. Okay. Oh, with that 5 there, that's a 7 and that's a 5. These are the 5 7 twins we had. 7 and 5. Therefore, we can fill in a 7 there. That leaves 2 and 5 there. With that 5, we know that's a 2 and that's a 5. That leaves a 2 there. All right, well, now we're coming along pretty good. All right, now we know there's a, let's see. This is a corner pattern right here. And we have 519 here, but we've got all those in here already. We've got a 2, 3, and a 5 here, so we one of these is a 2. That's a 2 right there, so we know that's a 2, and therefore that's an 8 right there. Okay. Now we're coming along pretty good here. Let's see. So we're missing 5 and 6 here still. And what do we got here? 4, 6, and 7. There's a 6 and 7, so that's a 4. 6, 7. What are we missing here? 1, 4, 1, 4, 5. So that's got to be a, a 1 because we knew these are 1, 2 twins. And we got a 2 there. I didn't notice that a minute ago. So we can fill those in. Okay, now we got 2s. 2 here, 2 here. So one of these is a 2. There's, so that's 2 right there. All right. Now let's look at this this um, right here. We've got we're missing three numbers: three, four, and seven. So one of these is a three. One of these is a four, and one of these is a seven. Now remember, we have four seven here. Let's see. We, so, oh, we got three and five missing here. We can solve those. So we can put those in. And with that three, one of these is a three. That's a three there. So that's a three. Okay. So now we have four seven here and four seven here. Okay, so four seven there. Four seven. Four seven. Let's see what we're missing here. We've still got 5 and 6 there. Now we've got a 5 there, so we can solve those. And let's see what we're missing here. 1, 4, 6. 1, 4, and 6. 6 there. And these are our 1, 4, um, one, four twins. 
we knew about. We had a 1 4 there and a 1 and a 4 there. So and a 1 4 there. So we knew these are 1 and 1 4 twins. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but and then now let's see what are we missing here? 7 and 8. Yeah, 7 and 8. Or 8 there. And now we can solve our four sevens here. Four, seven, four, seven. And then we have the four six twins we found right at the very beginning. We can solve those now. And we're done. All right. Well, we uh, hit a couple points there that were a little tricky, especially when we uh, found that two. Uh, we weren't able to find anything else at that point, so uh, using two unique rectangles and a set of twins narrowed that number down to a 2. So in that case, we used three different uh, techniques all at once. And like I said before, when you get to a spot where you're stuck and you can't seem to get past it, look at using more than one technique. Because uh, quite often that'll help you. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy these videos. And I'll see you on the next one.